Hey guys, welcome to another YouTube video. So today I'll be showing you how to add playfab uh, to your Gorilla Tag Fighting game. So firstly, in the Discord, which is in the description of the video, you will need two Unity packages, which I can show you. So you will need this, Unity SDK, and Playfab Editor extensions. So after you download those, you will need to import them. Go import, import package, and custom package. Then you import the packages. But I already have the packages installed, so I will need to show you that. And then after that, you will need to import uh, the Playfab login script. So after you have uh, the Playfab login, you want to make a part called Playfab login or whatever you want. And then you need to go into your scripts or wherever you put the scripts, then you need to put Playfab login in there. So now after that, you should have Playfab editor extensions already imported. And after that, you need to do window then playfab and then editor extensions then that will open this then it will ask you to log in and obviously you need to log in and if you do need to update your SDK do update it and after that you after you've logged in select the studio which your game is on then select your title ID which is the title then after that you need to add your catalogue name so whatever your catalogue is on the playfair mine is falcon fallers and then for your special items so special items could be cosmetics such as mod cosmetics and if you do you need to put that in there then in your catalogue you need to put your the name on playfab the item id on playfab exactly the same as the object is then after that uh, disable items is basically the same thing so rather than it enabling the object it disables the object so such as my vents here it disables it if they have it in their playfab inventory but if they don't, it will be enabled, which is what you use disable items for. Then for currency, you put your currency name, uh, and your currency name is just foul or whatever you put it as. Mine is Falcon Rocks, but you do that. Then in the script, for it to actually work, you will need to change this on line 117 to your virtual currency code. Mine is FR, but yours might be, I don't really know, SJ or something, I don't really know. But mine is FR just like that. And after you do that, you set your currency text. So basically, a board, you need a board like this. Uh, it has a text on you, put whatever you want in this text. And then you drag that text into currency text. So now you leave coins at zero, because that will auto check in game. And then for ban scene, to make a ban scene, you need to make a new scene either by copying your current one or making a whole new one. Then in your band scene, I recommend copying your band scene, but in your band scene, all you need is to put maybe a board or something up and have your normal stuff. And you can just disable everything else and you don't really need to update that scene after it's already made, unless you want to. Make sure you also have Playfab login still in that, still set up fully with bouncy name and stuff. And then for MOTD text, you put a loading or something in on MOTD. And then after you have that, you have your text. And with that text, you just put it in. And then on Playfab, you will have to make a title data. Then with that title data, all you need to do is name it MOTD, all caps, which you can see in the script. It goes to the bottom of the script here. It checks for the title data, MOTD, just like that. Then in the context, you just put that in. So I'll show you that 
Just give me one second. So to make a message of the day, you need to go to uh, content and then wait for this to load and then put title data and then create a new override or whatever it says. And then it will look like this for you just without this. But then you want to change it to MOTD just like that. Then you can put your message of the day just like that. Then after that is done, it, you're basically all set and you don't have to do anything else and it should just work. If you have any issues, please do ask in the description down below. And also, just for context, the player data does not work. That is why I'm not showing it in this video. But if you do want starting name, I do have a script in my Discord server right here. All you need to do is change this and then put it on an empty or something and then it will work that's basically all you need to do and I hope you guys enjoy this YouTube tutorial and that is basically all you need to do so I hope you guys enjoyed this YouTube tutorial and please do check out my Gorilla Tag fan game it is on Outlab and it is called Falcon Fallers bye now